Hello friends, welcome to Parthems. Thanks for overwhelming response on this video, how to convert Excel spreadsheet to the XML. So there was a request from one of the user, they want to convert XML to Excel spreadsheet. So let's see, uh, uh, we'll see today how to convert it. We'll use uh, same export file that has been, you know, uh, from the earlier version. So I'll just use this. Control C and uh, Control V, and I'll just rename this as a import. So we'll use this file as an import file, and uh, you know, for a conversion purpose, that will put into the Excel as file. So what you need, you have to have one workbook that will save all your data when you, you know, utilize that XML file. So let's have a look first what is there in our import.xml file. So I'll just open it in a, one of the text editor that is a notepad we have for now and I'll add a few more tags here. So let's say, um, you know, first tag is a student record and uh, I'll add that as, you know, one more entry over here, 127. So we could see uh, whether that entry is available, 127 and uh, I'll give the name as Z1 and uh, some subject marks as a 87 over here to just for you know uh, verification purpose and I'll just uh, give as pass over here and uh, just increase this marks to 53 and the uh, percentage uh, let's see as it is uh, result of it is so I'm not going to give any value for this just for our records. So I'll just save this file. So to convert XML to XLS file, what you need to do, you have to have create one Excel workbook. You can use any sheet and you have to just select the A1 over here. And after that, you have to select data ribbon table. And there is option from other resource in get external data so from other resource you have to select from xml data input once you select that it will ask you to browse that xml file to import so let's give the path from this to import this file and i'll just open this so i can see this file is available over here and i'll just select this file that we have just now you know modified with the 127 roll number and once you open let's see all records are available and it will give one prompt it will give this prompt the specified xml source do not refer to any schema so that's fine we, we are not referring any database so far excel will create a schema based on xml source data that's fine absolutely fine and you can click on ok on this once you click on OK, this data will import into tabular format. And while importing, if you can see, it is trying to put the table at certain location. So you have to specify whether you want to on this sale or you want to have this is on any particular sale. Or I'll just say Control Z. You can change the sale number as well over here. So if you can say B or if you can just you know existing worksheet or any other worksheet that's fine uh, so let's keep it as it is for now or you can create the new worksheet also and otherwise you can see the properties what are the different properties they have any uh, mapped data that you need to have so for now i'll just take it as it is that we have already covered earlier i'll just cancel this and say on OK. Now, if you can see, this all data is imported from XML file. And if you can see the last number that we have just clicked on pass, change the subject English marks as a 53, and result awaited, we kept it as it is. So this is how uh, you know you can use XML data to import into Excel format and uh, definitely this is going to help you to plot any data from the excel xml to xls to you know um, to read it 
uh, into the you know re re required representable tabular format so i hope uh, this uh, video uh, you like and you will realize in your uh, daily work and uh, we wish uh, a lot of requests from you if you have any suggestion to create the video or any tutorial will be always there thanks for watching this video and uh, do subscribe my channel thank you very much